Good morning, everyone, or afternoon by the time you see this. Uh, this is the morning after the game before. The morning after, we finally beat Brighton. What about that then? Uh, great result. Look, the, the football isn't pretty. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sort of beat around the bush and, and say that the football's you know perfect or anything like that. But it is effective, and I've always said that about David Moyes. Is that you know, look, I've been a big big voice for David Moyes um, to, 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 to leave the football club, especially last year, um, some of his decision-making and that. But as I said last week, we look a more balanced side now, and he's actually got some players in that um, he trusts. Um, and I think we've got a good, a, a decent depth to the squad now. It's, you know, look, you can look at possession-based football you like. You know, Pep Guardiola said that... Um, you know, Brighton are, are one of the most complete passing football sides in the world. So when you go to the Amex, they're always going to, um, you know, have a lot of possession, um, a lot of a lot of the ball. And they're going to have, uh, you know, large parts of the game. But it's always about, listen, football is not about how much possession you have. It's, a, it's how you use the possession. And the way we used it yesterday was was deadly. Um Suchek coming off I thought he had another good game but he had to come off injured he got a bad uh, I haven't seen it back yet but he got a bad uh, clash of heads with a goalkeeper or, or got punched by the goalkeeper um, and he had to go off and then Benrahma come on and I think Benrahma changed the dynamics of the game I think that Brighton had set up in a way to, to try and deal with our sort of low block and then Benrahma give us something further up the field to you know to hold on to Um so, uh, Alvarez, sorry, uh, great debut. Wall Prowse was spraying the ball around. You can tell, you know, Ryan said this to me yesterday about uh, his idols, David Beckham. You can tell, you know, the, wearing a seven shirt, some of his passing ability and the ranges of passing, he's, you know, he's second to none, you know. And I, I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm, there's some people on my channel that didn't want him. Um, but what I'm not going to do is, you know, I'm not going to sit on here and and, uh, and talk about you know, the team performance or the win. We've got to look at eating humble pie, a lot of us. And, you know, listen, I see some stuff this morning, man, and I'm not going to mention it, and I'm not going to mention who it was, that people look absolutely fucking devastated that we, you know, we went 3-0 up yesterday. And I think that's just such a stupid way to to look at the game and to look at football in a whole, you know. It, it, why would you want your team to lose? It's not pretty, but it's effective. But why would you want your team to lose? Why Why would it damage your ego that much? You know, is it because it's the narrative? You know, you've got to change the narrative. You know, you, you can only react to what's in front of you. And, you know, when you're winning games, does it really matter? Does it really matter how you're winning them? You're winning them. You can close the door, it's fine. Um... <laughs> It, it it really doesn't matter how you win games. And, you know, you've got to call a spade a spade. And, you know, you've got to call it how it is. You know, you cannot carry on with your narrative. If if your narrative is wrong, you've got to admit you're wrong. And that's what a lot of, you know, our fans, or maybe football fans in general, can't do. Is they, they, can't, they can't change the narrative. And they can't, you know, they can't look past their own wrong decisions and wrong... You know, I'm wrong. I was wrong. You know, it, you know, I thought he'd lost the dressing room completely. It's proved me wrong. That's all you've got to say. I was wrong. And then you can get behind your team. How can you sit there and not enjoy your team winning games? Winning, a, a, you know, a, against a team that we haven't beaten in 12 years. I think that's crazy. I think if you're looking at it like that, I think you're looking at it the wrong way, you know? Are you looking at it as a, as a term of... You know we're doing well, or you looking at it as a term as you know they've pro they're proving me wrong, and I'm looking stupid. I think sometimes you just got to eat humble pie, and it's working. We we was top of the league this morning when <laughs> you know I know there's games today, and there's you know Man City are probably going to go back top again, but we're top of the league as we sit now, and if you can't see or you can't look past, you know. Your own, what's the word I'm looking for? Bias. <sighs> then fuck off, you know what I mean? And fucking look at what's saying else. 
But that's all I've got to say anyway. Uh, as I say, top of the league as it stands. Uh, have a great weekend and um, we'll go again against Luton on Friday. One thing left to say, come on you ones.